Welcome back to our in-depth adventure through Elden Ring, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Let's Play Dark Souls HD, and I'm going to play around with the Clean Rot Knight sword a little bit in this episode. I've got a nice little fire skill on it, and I'm going to show you guys about the fire. Ash of War, fire versus flame. Seems kind of strange, but you'll see in a minute. But the reason we're starting in the round table hold, instead of where we left off in Nakron, is because we're going to do a little bit of maintenance. And we're just going to talk to some people. We don't have to worry about upgrading or anything like that. Ah, you appear to well then. <clears throat> we really just want to see if anybody has anything new to say. Okay. And then we know there's nothing new with Gideon. The final door down here is not going to upload until we rest at a grace in the Altus Plateau, which we should do that relatively soon. I mean, now that we're done with Kaled and Lyurnia, like we are... Yeah, man, except for the Godskin Apostle, like, we are straight up done with this place, I think. Like, there might be somewhere down in here. There might be, like, a catacomb down in here that we need to do, potentially. I don't think so, but there is... Yeah, there's War Dead catacombs that we need to do, and then we just have stuff in, like, the Dragon Barrows. That's it. Stuff in the Dragon Barrows on the way back up. Like, there's a, there's a catacomb a little bit down in here near this mini bridge that we need to do and it's kind of tough but yeah so we have two tat we have two catacombs and one boss left in Kaled. we're basically done we did all of Lyurnia except for this guy we're gonna have to do the carrion study hall but we can't get in there until we go into Nakron and get the gift that we need to give to Ronnie so we're gonna give her that gift and then we have basically 100 percented Lyurnia, and that's going to be the order of things. We'll finish up Kaled, or at least what's left in there. And then we're going to go do the study hall, which is a real short level. And then it's going to be time. It's going to be time to progress into the plateau, which is massive. <laughs> it's got Lanedale Capital. It's got all, like, the plateau is bigger than all of these places. It's huge. And then there's even places beyond that. We still have, uh, <clears throat> we still have places underground that we need to do underneath Lyurnia, places underneath the capital, like we still have the subterranean shunning grounds, we have, Jesus, we have a lot of stuff left, but this door's not going to open until we rest at a grace, and then Shit Eater Steve will show up in there, which, that's just a nickname I gave to the Loathsome Dung Eater, but we're going to give Roger's Bell, and we found this as well, we found the Ghost Form Picker's uh, Bell Bearing, which just picked up in the last episode. Bell bearing shop one is Roger. We don't need any of these. But now we can buy ghost glove wards. All the way up to tier 3. How convenient. We'll never need those, but I suppose it's nice that we have them. So here's what I want to do real quick. I want to go check dialogue with just one more person, and that would be Fia. Well, we should get downstairs too. We should see if uh we should see if Gideon the All Blowings adopted daughter has anything new to say she probably doesn't in this ash it reminds yeah me. yeah she can she can smell the bird shit in the ash I, I get it nothing new there these two definitely don't have anything new to say because i already talked to them to see if we could upgrade our shit so you guys wouldn't have to sit through that i am pleased would you like me now yes let's get this over with Nobody that I respect can know I'm here. You are so very warm. Hey, we have a new dialogue, finally. My dear, might I ask something of you? Could you please find the owner of this dagger and return it to them? The Weathered Dagger. A certain person gave it to me as a gift. It's a very precious thing. It must have a special place in the owner's heart. So I would like for the original owner to have it back, if you wouldn't mind. I'd like you to find the owner of the dagger I gave you and return it to them. It's a very precious thing. Then good day to you. All right. Special place in the owner's heart. <laughs> I don't suppose that's 
where you want me to bury the thing. <laughs> God. It still blows my mind. I had no idea that mirror was a thing. I was so mad when I found that. Okay. <clears throat> Let's take a look at this special dagger. Dagger received from Fia. Death ble the be death bed bleh, companion. She wishes for it to return to its rightful owner. It was once a special weapon of gold and silver intertwined, but this now worn down and marred by a black gash. Very interesting. It's gotta belong to somebody. How about Jeez. you? Hey. <laughs> Wonder if it belongs to D. Well. What have we here? How did you get your hands on that dagger? Well, that hardly matters. I know very well whose dagger it is. Why don't I return it to them for you? Good work bringing this to me. Alright. So, I don't know that that's the right thing to do. I'm sure that because this is a FromSoft game, there's probably somebody else that that dagger belonged to. Hey, he knows who it belongs to, but um, that's just kind of what I have done with it. So now, <clears throat> without further ado, let's do this. We have enough to level up one time, so let's start working on our health. Now let's talk about this. The Ash of War. So I have the Flaming Strike on this guy because it's really damn good. But when I choose this, Notice how there's two different ones. There's fire, and then there's flame art. Flame art will scale with our faith, right? So, it also makes our damage go up. Like, the scaling will be better. So, yeah, it's it's looking to be a better decision entirely. So, let's compare. I mean, they should let you do this from that screen. They need to do that and update that in a patch. But, right now we have 328 damage with this sword, which is... Decent, you know, it's okay for a thrusting sword. It's not bad But if we were to change To flame art Now we have 377 that's a pretty good little boost and this weapon art is fantastic by the way Let's go test it out shall we so in the last episode we started here kind of worked our way down and we crossed uh, the the above portion of this bridge, at least, not down below. Same bridge, just upper tier. And we made it to the Ancestral Woods. And there's an abandoned merchant here. We already talked to him. And these these spots are still marked, these teleporters. That's kind of interesting. Funny how far we've come since we were down there. And that we're going to fight the same exact boss again. But whatever. So, let me show off this weapon art real quick. You create this flame in front of you, and then when you attack, using a heavy attack, you attack through the fire, and then you have a buff. It's very short, just like our holy buff. We have 445 attack with a thrusting sword. Like, this thing's fast, man. This is, uh, this is a quick weapon. So, I think it'll serve us rather well. Don't want it for this part, though. Do not want it for this. What we want for this part... Mm, maybe this guy. Probably do better for this. All right, we need probably spirit ashes for this. If we can. Doesn't look like it, but all right. Wait for him to go around the corner. Start mowing these guys down, because they die quick. One hit. Come here. Alright. What's he guarding? Beast blood. What's this? Beast blood. Alright. Somber smithing stone tier 4. Alright. So it looks like there will be no spirit summons against this guy. That's alright. Eat that. Damn you. Damn it. He has so much poise. 
You jerk. Come here. Man, this guy. <laughs> I really prefer for to have spirit summons against this guy because he can be super annoying. I'd really like to get a bleed on him if I can. Ugh! Because I know he's not immune to bleed. Come here. Had to get just one more hit on me, didn't you? Big jerk. Alright, hell yeah. That's our second tier 5 stone down here in the same spot. Fantastic. Watch out for the water. No, it's not time for a swim, I promise. It looks very refreshing. The water looks incredibly clean. And believe me, I could tell you that because I just went kayaking like two days ago. And the Ohio River is pretty disgusting. Like, that water looks very clean compared to what I was just dealing with. Hold on, let me use this before you disappear. <laughs> Get our little melted mushrooms. We'll grab this guy. Alright, it's almost like we were never in a fight. Crazy. So, up there. I believe... Getting up there is going to be... Pretty sure we have to do that from above. I don't think we can actually get up there from down here. I'm gonna try, but... I don't believe it's doable. Yeah, it's me. Come on, puppos. Paparoos. Alright, we'll deal with those guys in a minute. Get our sleepy time flowers, because... We very much enjoy experimenting with the sleep, don't we, fellas? Okay, yeah, just like I thought. I'm pretty sure you have to use a like a teleporter or something to get up there, or maybe not. Let's let's try. Let's try like hell to get up there. Let's see if we can do it. E, nope, it's not looking like it. As bogus as that is, it'll be all right. Yeah, no getting up there, but that's fine. All in good time. All in good time as I still scale for a way up. <laughs> it's just who I am. Alright, moving on. So we do have a group of our ghost friends here, complete with Chanter slash Singer. Yep, there they are. Let me get a good look. Yeah, that sounds about right. There's there's no items or anything. So that tells me you probably can't get up there. That's all right. We'll deal. So here's what I want to do for this part. Be a better host first. I want to go get this guy first. I don't... Uh particularly care about the rats or the singers. I'm more worried about this clown. Who is oddly more durable than the ones that heal you. Alright, Enchanted Shot. So, that is our second bow, Ash of War, that we have picked up in recent days. Damn rats. We're just going to use our sweeping attack. It just works well. That worked really damn well. Is that an item? No, it's not. Okay, it's just like a weird textural glitch. Okay, I was going to say, I don't recall an item being over there. This is news to me. Why wasn't I told? I didn't receive any kind of company email or informational pamphlet. Nothing. 
All right, so let's be smart about this part. We got plenty of ammo. Let's use it. Go, come here. Don't be difficult with me. Really? There's no way he has health left after that. There we go. Now we'll get the last one. Oddly enough, they're not singing anymore. It's kind of strange. But I don't mind. I don't mind. Come on. Any day now. Come on, man. I have to kill the braided twins, like, tonight sometime. Let's go. You jerk. See, that wasn't so bad. All you had to do was let me kill you. All right, let's experiment a little bit, shall we? I want to see if I can send them flying with this tail attack. I know I can probably send them flying with the shoulder, but let me do this. Buff up. All right, here we go. I don't want to wake him. Here we go. You can! That's funny. So I guess they just weren't positioned correctly, but because I was able to get my damage up, like, significantly, <laughs> um, it just ended up working out. So... I was able to kill them relatively easily, but I wanted to send them both flying down below. Because I'm pretty sure if they fell from where they were, it should have been death. No, maybe not, but still. But still, it would have been funny. And who doesn't want that? Alright, let's go into this corner real quick just to make sure we didn't miss anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. It's time to jump across. And you gotta be real careful on this part because you can fall over the edge and die. I've done it before. So, there's some enemies in here as well, I think. They should be all the way over there in that big room, though, because this is a this is a very short side path. There's, there's really not much that goes on over here, but if you fall into this lagoon right here, you're done. You will die, so don't do that. Pick up some of these fireflies. Got a nice ghost glove worked here. Five, hell yeah. And a bunch of butterflies. So this would be your ideal farming spot for the nascent butterfly if you have a mighty need for those. Get that guy. And then this part right here would seem better equipped for torrent. Like, this would seem like a torrent situation, but I don't recommend it like i recommend just using your own feet for this part because it's it can get a little dicey a little hard to see the vines kind of cover the floor and it's, it's strange but here's the other thing you're not going to get up there without torrent but you don't get anything for crossing this this is like pure curiosity is all it is like if you go over there there's nothing waiting for you there's no fake wall there's nothing so if you want to get up here the only reason I even showed you guys how to get up here at all is because if you decide you want to get up here, it should only be to pull the enemies out and shoot them from a safe distance because they don't have like a ranged attack. So it'd be smarter to do that. And these versions, you'll notice that these versions of them are quite different. You probably have already noticed that. They are flesh and blood. So that's why we're going to do this. We are going to test out the sleepy arrow. Sleepy Bolt, rather. We're going to see if this actually works against them. If we can hit them. Good lord, I'm terrible at this. Are you kidding me? Well, 
Wow. There we go. No, don't move. You... Oh, uh, whatever. I'm gonna lose some health. No. Okay, good. Alright. Oh, shit. That's right. The bridge is broken. You do have to use Torrent to get over there. That's right. Silly me. I just remember there being no item up there. And no. I'm not... I'm... Not stupid enough to use Torrent for that jump. You will go straight over the edge. I promise. Torrent is, uh... <laughs> Yeah, that's right. You have to go over here, and you kind of have to use this kiln to get over. No! And then die like an idiot. <laughs> All right. Should be a quick run back. Shouldn't be a big deal. I can't believe that. I had my camera panned just a little too... shittily. All right. What a waste of a rune arc, man. I wasn't done in by some mighty foe. I was done in by water. Which is dumb. I know that from a creator standpoint, there's many reasons why there isn't, uh, like, swimming or anything like that in this game. Like, believe me, I, I totally get it. I really do. Can't use these from the horse. That's all right. Can use this from the horse, though. So let's do this. Let's roast these guys. Get them all. Really? That didn't work at all. No, get off me. Jump, Torrent, go. Row hit him. Yeah. Come here. There we go. For some reason, like it's so much easier to fight these rats without walking on. Being able to tweak the camera around is just so nice. Lock-on does not allow you to do that. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why I don't lock on when I play. It's like, probably frustrates a lot of people when they watch. They're like, why doesn't this guy use the freaking lock-on? That's why. Because it sucks. It'll get you killed. Alright. Wow, these butterflies didn't come back. Maybe you cannot use them to farm, or maybe you can't use that spot to farm them. It could be just a one-time drop per playthrough. Weird. Alright, so let's not do that again, right? Let's, uh... <laughs> what is this goop in here? Oh, okay, never mind. It's dried. Dried charcoal. I totally thought that was, like, straight-up goop. Alright, you... Let's try this again. What in the hell? I need you to go to bed. Let the NyQuil fill your veins. Eek. Alright, fine. Let's see how you like this. Ugh! Fine, we'll see how you like this. Didn't like that. That was fantastic. That did real good damage. No shit. Didn't mean to do that. Really? Come on. Huh! <laughs> that hit pretty damn hard. Pretty satisfied with that. Right, the Ancestral's Infant Head. So this is one of those equipable items that costs FP. 
Let's take a look at it. Uses FP to spray Spirit Vapor. It's an intelligence attack. So it's magic damage. If you are running intelligence, that can be quite useful when you get cornered because, as you saw, it lit me on fire pretty much. It's like blue fire. But it doesn't do like fire damage, if that makes sense. It's, uh, it's magic damage. But the thing is, if you're cornered by something small that doesn't have a lot of poise, like, you know, soldiers or rats, whatever, that can be a pretty nice tool to have. It will get you out of some hairy situations. And it is really only good for small enemies. I mean, it'll, it'll do a lot of damage to larger enemies all the same. Like, it still hits pretty hard. Why is the water... From the flame. Okay, it's from the flame. The glow it was kind of throwing me off. But that item will do pretty good damage no matter what. But it's just the stagger effect that you want to be concerned with. Get some more formic rock. Hello, kids. Well, actually, I don't want to... this I want to do. There we go. Get all our stuff back. And I don't think one of those flame pillars was over there. I didn't notice one at least. But I think we have one more that's going to be over in this direction. we got to make sure to cover that. All the wolves are back. Alright. So instead of dealing with all these guys, what are you going to shoot me? Of course you are. Now I'm gonna shoot you. Alright. So we're gonna go back here. Instead of directly engaging them, there's some jellyfish back here. And then there should be an item or two. And we want to make sure to get those. And these jellyfish, thankfully, they're not hostile. They're not glowing red. So we don't have to worry about them shooting the poison at us or anything like that, which can be your worst nightmare. There's the boss corpse. We're going to do the same exact thing we did before. We are going to <clears throat> activate the memory of the boss once we're ready and fight a more difficult version of him that heals. It's not good. And then over there... I don't think we can see it from here just yet, but we... Yeah, it's not It's not loading. It is. There's Crucible Knights. Yeah, man. We got Crucible Knight number one patrolling over there. And... Okay, you can't see him, but up on this waterfall, there's Crucible Knight number two with a spear. And he jacked me up pretty bad on my first playthrough. And then over here, you can just barely see him through the crack in the concrete. But there is a scarab in there that drops an Ash of War that we do want for a change. Modeled Necklace is the one that we got in Noxtella Eternal City, which is just the easier version of what we've already been doing. Okay. I wonder how many more flames we have to go. And I don't think there's any point in doing this <laughs> there's no point in jumping over here we do need to go back down below before we fight the boss though that is something that is relevant to us is we have to go like down there and then we can just warp back up and fight the boss so there's our last pillar down there we need to go get that but there was a spot down below that i missed that we are going to want to go do so let's definitely, definitely do that. And then the jellyfish are guarding an item. So let's go steal it from under their noses without pissing them off. Aha, uh -huh, there it is. There's one scarab, and then there's the second one. You can just kind of barely see him. Yep. Oh, yeah. Good shit. Man. That Crucible Knight down there, that's a terrible place to fight him. Terrible. Alright, so 
Let's do this. Since we're already here, may as well just do it. Because we can get back. Stone sword key. Hell yeah. May as well do this just so we can warp here when the time comes. Little jellyfish. Okay, silver tier husk. We've been picking up plenty of those. Let's do this. Let's light this grace. But we're not going to go in this direction just yet. This is the way we're going to want to proceed once we get back to the boss. And we should be able to get back up. We're supposed to be able to at least. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> and no, you're not supposed to be able to do that. I just forced the game to let me <laughs> the first time I did this area. I was very stubborn about it. So there's the second boss corpse, weirdly enough. So let's go do this. Hollow Horn Grounds. There should not be any enemies in here. And we can't do anything with this corpse right now. It bleeds. It's still fresh. It's kind of motivating, actually. This is the ancestral spirit. This is a godly being that they worship. And the only thing I'm concerned with over here is, does it bleed? Can I kill it? All right. Let's go grab this little item here that is hiding from us. Kukri, we love those because we're a dex build. They do great damage. Y'all, I don't have time to play, okay? I'm just trying to, like, light these little towers. That's really my only concern at the moment. But we are back to the area that I wanted to get back to, thankfully. So we want to go down here. This is... A really easy spot to miss. We ran up into this spot in the last episode. But we want to go down here because it's kind of tedious to check in between these pillars. But I know for a fact that there's items hidden down here. Maybe not necessarily on this side, but that's our pathway to get down below. Because we're going to drop back down into Noxtella, essentially. But we're going to grab some items that we would otherwise not be able to get unless we did so. So, be very careful with your camera angle in this part. If you have your angle too close this way, it'll do that. It'll jerk your camera. It's kind of annoying. So, I would say keep your camera sort of panned towards the pillars when you're running through this spot. Fuck yeah. Tier 5 stone. Thank you. We need all of those we can get. And then there's no need to drop any further down below for any reason. I'm going to check around here anyway, just to make sure they're not dicking us. Okay, that's death for sure. Alright, now we're going to drop back down into the spot that was all the way on the other end. Because I'm good at this game. Come on. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that was weird. Almost fell. Don't want that. So for this part, drop down right here, don't want to die, drop down again, and then there should be good stuff in here. Let's make sure we don't miss any of it. Yeah. I think I hear a scarab too. No. No. That's Torrance Reigns. Okay. Always messes me up. Alright, that we didn't so much care about. This, yes, Celestial Dew. There we go. Clarifying Horn Charm. So that is a good one. It is the plus one version. Greatly raises your focus. Focus will do quite a bit for us. It'll raise our... Let's see. Let's see what its stats of ours change. Yep. Wow. From 219 to 359. Yep, focus governs resistance to sleep and madness. So whenever we start dealing with that bullshit, it'll be nice to have something like that as a backup. 
Okay, that's the bird I hear. I thought it was rats. I was about to freak out and be like, I don't remember rats being up here. Birdies, birdies, birdies. You're just chilling in the dark over here, man. That's not weird or anything, right? Okay. And what do we got over here? No hidden items. Nothing over the edge except death. Why would they put this here, though? What's the point? Can't get back up. It's strange. Why would they do that? Alright, and this... Most certainly would yield a discovery, wouldn't it? We're gonna check. Matter of fact, we're gonna run down both sides. <laughs> Just to make damn sure. There we go. Smithing stone tier 5. Thank you. Pretty sure that's going to give us the ability to upgrade this weapon we're using right now again. We can upgrade the Cross Naginata a second time. We should be able to get this thing to plus 14. Okay, and then this little drop down on the, the ledge here, the surrounding ledge with the vines, this is uh, this is the way to get to, like, down, down. Okay, can't follow that down. I'm looking for every single way down possible, just to make sure that we have done it all. And I don't think there's anything over here if you follow this around. Like, there really shouldn't be, to my memory. We're going to check anyway. It's what we do. Yep. Of course not. But that's okay. It's really no big deal. Oh, fuck. That, however, is a big deal. I really didn't see the banana peel. I didn't see it coming at all. <laughs> oh no, it dropped me down in the wrong spot. We are all the way up there. That's where our stuff is, anyway. Alright, let's do this. Start back at the Ancestral Woods, and we're going to have to make the drop down again. Perfectly alright. Although, strange to me, nothing in this game seems to be able to kill me except my own stupidity. I think we have one more obelisk to light, because we did not get the prompt that said that the boss was available. Unless, unless I just missed it. Which is entirely possible. So let's do this. Let's go back down to here. And let's do our drop. And honestly, it's, it's really not even the runes that matter so much. It's like... It's more so kind of the inconvenience of running back. It's... Uh, it's less time spent trying to get through the episode and show you the things that matter, you know? Alright. Where is our spot? Right here. Indeed. Alright, let's go get our stuff back. Come on. Don't make this any harder than it needs to be. There we go. And to prevent any further stupidity, we're just going to work back again. Play smarter, not harder. Alright, and then I know exactly where our final obelisk is. I know exactly where it is. There it is. So let's go take care of them, shall we? Bro, are you coming for me? From that far away? Surely you're joking. Alright, fine. Yeah, you got nothing on this spear, pal. You're dead.
Don't do the charge. That's fine. You do kind of have to be careful when they do the charge attack, because once they do that... Wow, we both whiffed. What do you say we shake hands and do it over, huh? Yeah, so the charge attack has lots of poise. Anything else they do does not, though. Come here. And then their, like, Buddhist palm attack has all the poise. It's stupid. Come on. Probably be easier to just slash him and finish it. And then that shining horned headband we got is a guaranteed drop. It's heavy. It's three. Well, no, it's actually just a hair heavier than what we have on. So it's among, it's on the lighter side. Uh, headband decorated by a pair of shining horns worn by ancestral follower shamans. Horns with buds that also shine are ideal ceremonial items for ancestral worship. Strengthens ancestral infant's head. So if you wear this, the tool that we got that we can use against our enemies, this guy, will do more damage. Not by a lot, though. It's like... Pretty negligible in my testings. We're talking like, I don't know, maybe 10% more damage, if that. So here's our second one. It bleeds just like the other. So let's light this, and this should prompt us to fight the boss. There we go. So of course, power gathers somewhere in Horned Remains. Not these remains, though, because these are the ones that are near us. That'd be too convenient. Alright, one more quick sweep through this kind of center area with the massive tree. Make sure we didn't miss anything. I think we're good. Yeah, we're alright. Unless... Nope, we're good. Alright, excuse me. I've lost fight. So I'm definitely going to want a spirit summon for this, but I don't think it's going to be the... Oh, they're still coming for me. <laughs> Alright guys, I gotta go. Could you imagine that? Like, this is literally the thing they worship and they're just like running after me like, No! And <laughs> I just disappear into thin air to go kill it. <laughs> oh, I'm a terrible person. Okay, so for this fight, I don't think I'm going to use the children. I think I'm going to use something a little more powerful. Lootle should do. Let's see, what is my hawk? Plus five. Lootle. Can I... I can't warp back. Okay, that's fine. Lootle, I'm going to call on you just once. Because my children don't really have that much health. They died pretty quick to this boss. Loodle would probably be much more useful. For drawing attention and everything in general. Alright. Let's do it, man. Oh, shit. He's going for it. She. She is going for it. <laughs> so, here's the thing. We learned that the Lightning Spear is good against this boss. Like, really good. But, I think he does that. But here's the thing. If you attack where it's disappearing from, it's like it still kind of lingers physically, right? It's real nice. And it draws in life from these creatures in the boss room, so... Here we go! Hit! Thank you. I was so worried that wouldn't hit. Yeah! Two... Three, bam. Don't roll that early. Ooh. Like that. Jesus. Let me heal. Get a jump attack. Ooh. There it goes. Whoa, I was blocking. It was weird, but there's that stupid heal. Oh, that was bad. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Alright. It's going to be reborn over here. 
Let me kill this goat. He shouldn't... Never mind. He can heal no matter what because you can't kill them. Eat that! Uh, there we go. Damn, he dodged Ludl's bow. That's funny. Nice try. Yeah, there we go. Get that free hit. I have one more lightning spear. I need to make it count. There we go. How the hell did that happen? Right, come on, Loodle. Whoa, I'm out of FP. Not good. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Fuck. Alright. He only healed halfway. That'll work. I'll take it. There we go. Damn, Ludl has lost no health. Alright, let's get this clown, Ludl. Almost. Ugh. Let's get him. Let's get him. Ugh. There we go. You're done. And this is like the easiest shard bearer. So this boss, unlike the other one, it drops a full-blown remembrance because it's a shard bearer. But it's like 100% the easiest of the shard bearers. Like it's ridiculous how easy that boss is. He has more health and takes less damage. Like, he's got far more resistance and more health than the first one. But he's still dead. He's still super dead if you just destroy him. Why wasn't that guy in the chair for us? We're going to have to come back and visit and demand answers. But, boom, there's another Remembrance down. Or Shard Bear, I should say. And then we're going to need to venture this way. Below, or no, uh this way the aqueduct facing cliffs and we're gonna have to do this part with the crucible knights but let me do this real quick i want to go back we should have enough to level up so let's do that yes very nice get us some more health we are officially level 80 fantastic d is gone uh oh so here's what I'm thinking with that weapon. If D knew exactly who that belonged to, what if it was the brother that Roger told us about? Yep, Fia's gone too. So she's gone like all the way down below. She's gone down below to where the Prince of Death is. Or Godwin, as we know him. Interesting. Interesting stuff is happening. Um, That's right. We talked about upgrade stones, and I'm pretty sure the Naginata can be upgraded again. Well, please, please, please. Out your own. Yes. Fantastic. We have so many of these, I almost don't have an excuse to not upgrade this thing. But, like, at the same time, probably shouldn't because it's just a pulling tool for me. I'm upgrading this because I intend to dual wield these. Like, this already does holy damage, and this is holy imbued. So, yeah. Very nice. And you know what? Here. I'm going to switch back to this. Because it... They both cost 9. They cost the same. But this one gives me a buff. This one is more useful from range, though. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to go with that. Our damage with this thing is good, too. We're up to 440, just one-handing it. That's pretty good for just a spear. I mean, we can turtle stab with this thing. We have to keep that in mind. It's, it can be a fully defensive-capable weapon. It's pretty good. So let's go back down below. 
continue our conquest for another 10 minutes or so. All right. I do not want to be a terrible host. So Crucible Knights are... They're pretty much resistant to everything we have. Like, I don't... I'm not really sure what to say there. They, they're they resistant to holy. They're resistant to fire. Like, can't really do much. And you can't really bleed them either. They have, they have pretty good resistance to bleed. So, not much you can do there either. Let me say this. I bet we can potentially knock him off. If we use an explosive bolt. Let's try. Yeah, we can hit him. Jeez. Alright, he's gonna end up coming back anyway. If not, we can always put on the serpent bow and we can just poison him, whittle him down. He probably has far too much poise for us to try to do this, but we're going to try anyway. There's nothing wrong with experimenting. Really? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh my god. Really? Oh my god. We only have one shot left. God, I'm bad at this game. All right, come on, hit him. There we go. Oh, almost. Can you imagine? That would have been friggin' awesome. But no, he's just pissed off now. That's fine. Um, we're gonna have to go with this and these. Are you... And he can't block 100% poison damage, so... One way or another, this poison is going through. We're going to whittle his ass down. We do not want to fight him in a tight space down there. It's just a bad idea. Or if I keep pushing him back, I mean... Man, of course, he runs forward. His pathfinding is quite advanced in this game, so... Stop! Da he literally taunted me right there. <laughs> Come on, you you do not have 100% poison block. There's no way. It's just not getting through. What the fuck? Um, what if we do this? We have the strength for this and the stats for it. Let's try this then. Okay, through and through. Fantastic weapon art. It really is. I would love to be able to use it. To knock him off. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Yeah, get knocked off. Damn it. I'm out, though. These hit with the same amount of force. Oh, come on.
Come on, get knocked off. And that would solve a lot of my problems. Of course, him shimmying to the side stops me from being able to hit him at all with an aimed attack. Damn. Um, alright, so this is not working at all. We're just gonna have to be a man. We're just gonna have to go down there and take him down. Um, switch back to this so we don't <clears throat> get into a frenzy while we're down there. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna have to take him down the old fashioned way. Here we go. Not a whole lot of room to fight him in here, but <clears throat> it is what it is. Come on, man. Whoa, my shield was up. bubble up real quick. This is a terrible place to fight him, by the way. Never bring him in there. Alright. Whoa! Jeez. Whoa! I don't know why I rolled right there. That was strange. Eee! Dick. Alright. I've had enough of you, man. Alright, let me get my stamina back. And again, you see, like, why this is a genuinely terrible place to fight him. Because there's no room, and all of his attacks will break your guard. Come on. Ugh! No, 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 no. God, it would not let me roll. That was weird. I got stunned by the stomp, but then it... Okay, so I kind of have an idea for this guy, but... Let's see, I'm running out of runes. That is terrible. I feel awful. All right. Terrible placement, terrible placement. They knew what they were doing when they put this guy here. They were like, watch. These guys are not going to know what to do for this guy. All right, let's do this. Um, what I want to do... Here, let's do this, maybe. Okay. Deadly poison... Can I make poison cure? Yeah. Okay. Make a few of those. And then let's just poison him with, like, some of these. These will work. It's going to poison us, but that's okay. I cannot hit him from here. There's no way. Yeah, I'm going to have to get him like... I'm going to have to get him right here. Throw him at him from 
right here. Okay, that'll work. That'll work. I'll wait for him to get close, and we will pelt him in poo. <laughs> With our fetid pot. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. But hey, it is what it is. He sucks to fight up close like that, and if there's something we can do to fix that, you bet we're going to do it. Alright, how close does he get until he sees us is the question. Because I don't want him to start running and miss with my pot. Yep, he sees me. Alright, fetid pot number one. There we go. Fetid pot number two. Fetid pot number three. Not working though. Come on, man. Your shield does not have 100% poison block. There we go. Damn. Okay. Let's do that. We'll make some more of these. Hell, we can make some of those, too. Try to frostbite him, but doubt it would work. Alright. So I'm playing the long game with him right now. Suppose we could try to... Try to do something with him, right? Eh. Can't really hit him from down there, but... At least the poison is doing its job, though. That is the important part. Can't believe that missed. Dare I try with a black flame is the question. Because that will also do damage over time to him, even through his shield. go and he is already unpooped so let's do this well no come on man okay that's it just let me poison you man it's real simple no fuck it why does it break lock on right when i need it Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Well, that's done with. No. Are you kidding me? Okay. All right, all right, all right. There we go. You make this work yet. Oh, Ooh, fly off. Indeed. <laughs> oh, damn it. Come on. Mm. I'll pelt him with some of these. Whatever works. These do require FP, though, so I gotta be careful. I only have one flask to be able to use.
Bam! There we go. This will get the damage in for sure. So if we sneak, wait for him to lose aggro, have him turn around. Yeah. We'll let the fire pot get the damage for us, and then... I don't, I don't think we have enough to finish the job entirely, but... I think it'll get pretty damn close, so that we can at least go down there and finish him without getting destroyed by him in this tight space, which is such a shitty area to fight him, I'm telling you. So yes, this part, probably very boring. It's going to take some time to beat him like this, but it should be alright. Lose aggro on me, damn it. You dumbass. Lose aggro. Okay, I think he lost aggro. I hope it doesn't take this long every time. That'd be bogus. Oh no, he's still coming. Jeez, man. Yeah, 68 versus whatever we were doing. Significantly less. Alright. Tell you what, if he's chilling here, I'll hit him with a fireball. There we go. That'll get it done. You just stay right there. You just keep letting me do this. I'll whittle you down. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> You're done, sir. There's not going to be any coming back from this. Try as you like. There we go. Fuck. Crucible Horn Shield. I ought to get the damn shield for beating that guy. And there's the other one who's even worse, but at least we have more space to fight him over there, so... Not too worried about him. But we do have some centipedes, an important item. We got a scarab over here in case we need it, which... Probably do. Okay, missionary cookbook 5. That is important. I'll show you why. There it is. The Sacred Order Pot. That is going to be our ace in the hole. That is going to be our new, destructively powerful throwing item that is incredibly good for us faith folks. There's a scarab right here. There's supposed to be. Where are you, man? No, uh, he's over on this side. That's right. I thought. Didn't we point him out with the, the scope? Oh, well. That's okay. Even if he's not, I don't mind. Okay. Oh, he's, he's probably over on this one, I think. See, there's the one we want for real over there, but I could have swore there was a red one. Maybe we scared him off because we were fighting. That's probably what happened. No big deal. All right. Okay, he is... He is gonzo. All right. That's all right. Ain't no thing. So I think we're good. We didn't use any healing items. <laughs> so it's alright. Okay. This Crucible Knight. I think we can be a little more reckless against this guy. A little. Not a lot. He doesn't have a shield. He... Wow. He... What, he won't come through? What's up with that? He 
E. Screw that, man. Eh. Get him. There we go. Nope. Not me, chump. Really? Jeez. Alright, let's see if we can do this with this guy. Maybe we can just, like, keep sneaking him and charge attacking him. That'd be awesome, right? We'll see if it'll work. Ooh. Now, this guy, I have no, no qualms admitting, this guy gave me far more trouble than the other one. Like, I mean, he gave me infinitely more trouble. Shit, he is not leashing. I think we're going to have to reap what we sow, gentlemen. No? Okay. Shit, if you're gonna go back... <laughs> oh, roll, roll, roll! There we go. That was a bad idea. I shouldn't have done that. Shoo! He does a lot of damage! Ugh. Run! Oh! That freaking... Oh my god. That bubble saved my life just now. Holy shit. Why did I throw that? I feel like an idiot. Well... Not entirely an idiot, because... Hell, that thing would do good against this guy. He doesn't have a shield. Bam! Oh no. He... Eat that. Roll! Can't roll that early. You will die. <laughs> Ugh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Get the fuck off my bridge. <laughs> And we for sure needed that tier 6 stone, too, because we can use that for our Halo Scythe. Damn. Okay, so that guy didn't give me anywhere near as much trouble as normal. Because, I'm telling you, man, like, Sword and Shield guy I didn't have much of a problem with because I cheesed him with poison arrows. Made chum out of him. Tier 5 stones, thank you. We gotta get over to that guy for sure. He's important. But we gotta be sneaky. And yes, this episode's running a little bit long, but... What are you doing, man? Don't be getting nobody's attention, alright? Um, This episode's running a little bit long, but I do hope that you guys just enjoy spending some time with me. It's all in the name of good, I assure you. So this scarab, look at these guys, man, something terrible happened to this place, and I'm relying on the game's storytelling to tell me what. So this scarab for sure can't get away, we have to kill him. Ugh. Ugh. Please die, please just die, thank you. Healing, or order healing. Alright, so that is a really good one. I'm going to point it out to you real quick. Where is it? There it is. Alright, alleviates death blight buildup. So, death blight is going to become a problem for us at one point in this playthrough. So instead of using consumable items to try to get rid of its effects, we can equip this. It's expensive, it costs 15 FP, and it's annoyingly expensive to use, but... It's really easy because it has a very minimal faith and intelligence requirement, and it is considered an incantation. So, perfect for us. We're going to want to use that. It'll be better than relying on items. Golden centipedes. Damn. Check that out. This is probably the best view you're going to get of Moog's boss arena before we actually get there. That's cool, man. Big fan of this place. 
big fan of this game. Like, jeez, this game has no business being as good as it is. Holy shit. I, I am not bothered at all that this game is going to take a hundred episodes for me to get through. I could care less. It's just flat out phenomenal. It is so good. Don't be fooled by the waterfall. Yes, there's glowy items and whatever, but there's dudes nearby. There's people. We can't get got. Sneaky does it. Sneaky does it. Let's get over here. And... Let's see if we can put these guys to sleep. Alright. Oh, shit. And it's time for sleep execution. <laughs> 1700 versus what? 1900. Damn. Runark, thank you because of the one I lost. <laughs> Being a chump. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure up there where the waterfall is, I think that's where those guys came from. Or maybe they came from in here. Okay, smithing stone. Finally, a area where they hid something behind the waterfall. I'm a huge sucker for that in video games. I think it's fantastic. So this spot that we're in... Um, hello. How are you? Uh, <sighs> Inner order. Pretty sure this is D's brother. Doesn't have anything further to say to us. We could probably kill him because we can attack right here, but I don't want to. I think that'd be terrible. Alright, so let's run up here, and this episode ran quite long. So let's uh, do ourselves a favor and not fight this boss because I'm pretty sure this is the gargoyle and the gargoyle requires a little bit of tact so what I'll do is I'll go back to this cliff we're not gonna have to worry about the crucible knights respawning but I do want all my stuff I want my bubble I want everything so we did it all right, we've done the aqueduct section. All we have to do is go beat the gargoyle, and then we're going to jump in a coffin, and then we're going to go way down below into the inner depths of Nakron City. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be a very cool area. I'm excited to cover it. Really cool boss. has something to do with Fia and Rajair and a lot of those guys. So thank you guys so much for joining me on today's episode of the in-depth playthrough of Elden Ring. I've been your faithful host. Let's play Dark Souls HD, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Demon Souls.